I have an experience I want to forget, but can't. I was in middle school. For some reason, Olivia didn't like me and bullied me throughout middle school. I wasn't sure what she didn't like about me, but she called me stinky and slow, which made me unpopular at school. Olivia was one of the popular kids, so as she made fun of me, everyone else went along with it. Soon, it got worse, and they started hiding my things and were violent towards me. My middle school ears were the worst. I was traumatized by the experience through high school and college. I finally started to gain my confidence through work where I earned some respect. I was in charge of a big project when someone new moved into my group. It was... Olivia. I received texts from her that night. I can't believe we met again like this, Harry. You've done yourself good. So great to see you as a project manager. You didn't seem to notice me today, but do you remember me? How can I forget? I finally thought I could leave my hell days behind, but then you came back. That's such an exaggeration. I'm so happy we met again. Exaggeration? You don't remember what you did to me? I was young at that time. Besides, I was just teasing you. Everyone had fun. You don't know how hard you made it for me. Let's forget about the past and talk about the future. The future? Yes, I'm new to this work, right? So I want you to know my achievements. I was highly valued at my previous work. They said that I was fast at finishing my tasks and I got along well with others. I think I can be a good addition to this team. We know each other too and we're a good match. So, would you pick me as your sub-leader? Huh? You and I are not a good match. I don't care about your previous work. I'm going to assess you based on your current performance. I tried to forget about what happened in the past and started the project with my teammates. One month later... Harry, have you thought about what we discussed? Yes. I'm glad. It's been a month. So maybe you can pick me as your sub-leader now. And I have someone that I want you to take out of the team once I become a sub. Why do you think you can be the sub? And who do you want to take out? I think I'm best fitted for the role. It's Mary. I don't think we need her. Mary? I think she's doing great. She's not. She does everything so slow, so she has to stay late. She's pretty and quiet, so she's popular among the boys. But it's not working out for me. Don't you agree, Harry? I don't think so. Don't tell me she's your type. If she was, you have a bad taste. For you, I think someone like me is good. What are you talking about? When we were younger, I was probably above your reach. But maybe there's a reason why we met again. I'm not interested in you. You don't have to be shy. I'll date you if you make me the sub. If you have time to spend on stupid ideas, spend it on your work. Bye. Her selfishness hasn't changed a bit from before. I continued to check everyone's performance and decided who would be the sub. I picked Mary. The night I announced it... What was that today? Why is Mary the sub? I decided based on everyone's performance for the past month. I told you that she didn't do a good job. She's slow and flirty. Since you told me, I checked your work more thoroughly. The reason why she worked late was because she was helping others. And it was your mistake that she had to redo. Really? I'm still new so may have made some mistakes. And it's natural that someone like Mary who's been here longer should help. And talk about being flirty, that would be you. You left all your work on Mary and went drinking with every guy in the company. That's just to get to know people. People came to me afterwards. They said that you told them that you'd date them if they recommended you as a sub-leader to me. I just wanted everyone to know my value. We know your value. Really? I knew you'd get me. You're the only one I can depend on. You make lots of mistakes, flirt with guys, and cause trouble to your colleagues. All negative traits for our project. I'm taking you out from the project members. What are you talking about? You wouldn't do that to me, would you? I checked on your previous work. You bullied a newcomer at your office into quitting. You haven't changed a bit. They moved you to this project as your last resort, right? That's right. This is my last chance, so please, don't take me out. I need to make the right decision to make this project happen. You think you can do this to me? You know what's gonna happen if you make me mad. Are you threatening me now? Only because you don't make any sense. If you don't want me telling people things, then make me the sub. Are you stupid? It doesn't scare me at all. I've gained respect here out of my hard work. Who do you think they'll believe? You with the bad reputation or me? Um... In any case, you are no longer in the project, nor will you work for me. I'm going to tell the company that. 
Oh, wait! If you take me out the project, I won't be able to stay here. That's not my problem. You did it to yourself. At your new job, make sure to work hard instead of being selfish. The following day, I told the team member about taking Olivia out. Everyone was pretty much fed up with her attitude and agreed with the decision. It looks like it was true that this was her last chance, and once I notified the company about our decision, Olivia was sent somewhere else. Rumor has it that she's organizing stuff in a factory in the suburbs. This whole experience finally released me from my bad memory.